Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of Hammerhead Hobbies. In this episode, I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing this Yonkers JU87B from Airfix. Alright, this is the Yonkers JU87B from Airfix. This is in 1 to 72 scale. The model number is A03030A. Looking at the instruction sheet here. We open it up, it just gives you a basic uh, assembly icon instruction sheet here. It's in multiple languages. And it starts off in here. You're looking at the instruction sheet. Basic instructions, they look pretty good in here. There is a lot of humbrol number codes for the paint, interior colors, and different colors of the parts. If you're using humbrol, it's great, or cross-reference. If you're using other paint models here so it's a good instruction sheet it's pretty detailed I'm looking at the back here the paint scheme for the german one and the italian squadron uh, they, they got all the colors here from the humbrol and the rlm colors on the bottom so very nice instruction sheet moving on to the decals moving up here it has some nice detailed decals here for the common area and then you got your squadron insignias here and here and some decals they're very nice a good color they're nice and crisp there's good detail on them so it's not blurred or you know overly oversized or undersized so uh, and if you look here i, I spotted the uh, instrument panel decal so that's always nice to have to get a more detailed instrument panel on the interior Moving on to the sprues here. I'm just gonna go sprue by sprue and see the nice quality. Over here on the lower wing, there's lots of detail. There's lots of panel lines, lots of rivets. Some good detail on that. That's on both bottom wings. All these rivets and panel lines are raised. So I don't know why they went with the raised panel lines. It is a model made in 2010. Uh, usually they're recessed panel lines and rivets it just makes it easier to to detail looking at the propeller it's very basic it's clunky it's chunky uh, doesn't look like it's got any detail on it just a big piece of plastic moving over to the wheel skirts they're more plain than the lower part of the wing but there is some panel lines and detail on that and rivets there's a machine gun here, which looks very plain. There's barely any detail on it, just some shape, uh, but very, very little detail. Moving over to the small bombs here. Again, th these are smooth. There is no detail on them. And looking at the fins, they look a little thick for the size of that. So, you know, a little bulky. They are stronger that way, but just less realistic. Over here on the wheels, they got nice tread pattern, if you can see around here. And looking at the center hub, or the wheel hub, and it does have some bolt pattern here and some basic detail on that. Moving over to the larger bomb, it does have some good detail on it. Very basic though. And the fins are a little thick. A little, you know, this one here looks thinner, thicker than this one. So a little off center there, but not too bad. Moving over to this sprue here, this is the top of the wing. And again, lots of panel lines, lots of rivets. Uh, makes it really nice and detailed. They are raised though, all the panel lines and rivets again. Going over to the elevators or horizontal stabilizer. Again, they got raised rivets and panel lines. However, the elevator part is recessed and the micro adjustments are recessed. So that's nice to see. I see the pilots here. Now, one's supposed to be a rear gunner, one's a, a pilot. Uh, they both look the same, but there is good detail on that. You can see the suit, you can see the boots. I see his goggles and his face is pretty visible there, so not too bad. In here is the cockpit area. This is the gunner seat. The pilot seat would sit on there. And again, very basic detail on the, the, uh, the seat there. Looking at joystick which is part of the interior uh, that's got good detail on it which is a little weird because the rest of it is not as detailed 
as that joystick. Looking at the rear wheel, again, good shape, fairly good detail. It is one piece, uh, which makes it stronger, but it's a lot harder to paint as one piece. And looking at the drop tanks with basic detail on those. Moving over to the main fuselage area here. The inside is smooth, so there is no detail at all on the inside. There is good placement tabs and uh, pit pivots here where everything gets placed, so that's good to see, so it's, uh, you're not guessing where it is, but I would still always try to dry fit it prior to gluing it. And again, looking at the exterior of the fuselage, it's, it's got great detail. Again, panel lines, lots of rivets, uh, and again, raised as the rest of the model. Moving over to the canopy. Over here. The canopy has good color, meaning it's not yellow. However, it's very thick. It's a very thick canopy. I don't know if you can see that clearly. It's thick, which makes it a lot stronger, but Usually canopies being this thick are a lot wavier and this one looks very wavy. And if I were to compare it to the decal here, so you can see how wavy it is. If I just pass this along the decal sheet, you can see how it distorts the image below it. Uh, that's not very good because you're gonna put a lot of, if you do put a lot of effort into making the interior nice and detailed and then you cover it with this it's going to distort it and you won't be able to see it as good also the window pane lines here are kind of thick they should be about half that size these look very thick so if you're to put paint uh, the lines then you'd cover up most of the the windows and you'd barely see anything on the inside lastly it has two little see these circles these are from the mold uh, I don't know why they're there on the canopy. This is the part you're going to see the most. They shouldn't be there. So not a very good canopy from Airfix over there. Okay, so that was all the pieces there from Airfix here. Uh, Junkers JU87. So if you stick around, I will provide you my summary along with the pros and cons. All right, now I'll be going through the pros and cons. So the squadron decals and paint instructions are good. Uh, you know, they're very detailed. They show you exact placement of the decals and they have a good paint references to RLM colors. The instructions are easy to follow. The exterior details are excellent. The decals are detailed and a good color. And this kit comes with pilots. And now for the cons. The quality of the print on the assembly instructions could be better. The interior has little detail on it. Although the exterior has great detail, the panel lines and rivets are all raised. And lastly, the canopy is thick and wavy. So overall, if you can pick up this model for, you know, a good price under $20, then it's a great kit. It's a great kit both for beginners and it'll be a quick build for a more experienced modeler. So I hope you enjoy this review and I hope you enjoy the build.